since the 14th of March 2023, there have been infants. But the Simmers quickly grew tired of the babies once the Sims team announced horses. There's a video on Sunday as well. <coughs> Hello, sinners, simmers, and stallions, and welcome to my long awaited review of The Sims 4 Horse Ranch. <laughs> there were naysayers. Nay, even I assumed horses would have come by now. The horses are coming. All of the horses are coming. I mean, we have pets, we had cottage cheese living. How supposed to be in the video? But today they get their very own pack whether they deserve it or not. <laughs> and I, for one, hope they are exactly the same as The Sims 3. I want the horse to spawn directly into my living room. Peter, the horse is here. And send me a flirty text. I just want to make it very clear straight out of the gate. I am not a horse girl. I never will be a horse girl. I am, in fact, a horse hater. Horse grill, if you will. Burn them all. Just something about those hoofs being giant toenails is extremely unsettling to me. I like my men hung, and I like my horses hung too. As in the ending of Goat Story 1 type of hug. She's, She's fallen, fallen and, and she, she can't, can't giddy up. So immediately this pack is not for me. I am not the target demographic, but I'm still going to attempt to give it a fair shot. Even though I think all horses should be shot. So hold on to your horses and let's get into The Sims 4. Red Dead Redemption. He's bouncing off my booty cheeks. I love the way he rides. Starting off in creative sim, we have the he's and the haws. Yeah, yeah. The, the two, two genders. genders. The items are giving very much pilgrim, pilgrim Kim Kim Kardashian in that one photo shoot. We stunning, sexy look at the Met Gala, and you can recreate it at home. As expected, there's lots of denim, gingham, plaid, tartan. What in tartanation is going on? And cow print. Which is interesting because cows aren't in this pack. They are in fact in cottage living. Oh, the devious cow lick. <laughs> Unfortunately, the chaps don't even have arseless chaps. Luckily, I made my own in a previous video or we wouldn't even have them. I'm gonna take stray boys to a hotel. There's also a distinct lack of camo. Although now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I couldn't find it because it's so well camouflaged. There's new hairs, new accessories, facial hair, including this cartoon villain looking ass mustache, which I took off immediately. He looked like he was about to start saying similar slurs. <laughs> also, missed opportunity to add a goatee. Goatee on a goatee, goatee with the sun. There's not really a lot of horse or animal related merch for the kids. Where, Where is the brony, brony representation? representation? <laughs> if you do like to kiddie up, the kids can learn how to ride horses. But other than that, they're not really included in this pack at all. As in the children kind of kids. The goats actually have much more representation. I like the clothes, the ranch dressing, if you will. But we already have a lot of country attire in the game. In fact, too much country attire, more like country retire. There's two new traits, rancher and horse lover. Although personally, if it were up for me, that would have been a horse hater trait. And there's two new aspirations, expert nectar maker and championship rider, which is something I have often been referred to. Save a horse, ride a cowboy. Now for the moment, all of you horse people have been waiting for. Create a stallion. This works just like the other pets in the game. You can make them a pony, adult, or elder horse and customize everything from the breed, the coat, their mane, the bangs. Who gave the horses a Dyson Air wrap? You can also paint on them. I gave mine eyelashes. Maybe it's Maybelline. 
Now instead of dog grass, just a lonesome tree. I'm gonna have to do a cloud Monet. <laughs> and they also have accessories, including saddles, tiny hats, horse leg warmers. I don't know what the fuck these are. Do I, I look like I know, like I know what, what they are? Because tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. And I can confirm for everyone wondering that the horses don't have assholes or asses. There are no donkeys in the game. <laughs> and there's also no unicorns. Although weirdly enough, there's a whole category huh? for unicorn huh? horns, even though there's only one of them and it serves no huh? purpose. None. None. And there's also a strange unicorn statue and build debug, which it, it leads me to believe that they were supposed to be in the game and were cut. I was supposed to be in the video. <laughs> Speaking of getting the horn, horses can have three traits, including free spirit. And I'm not gonna confirm or deny that spirit the horse is kind of sexy. Is it the trap? Is it the things that I get for putting you bitches on? Is it my fault that all of you bitches gone? Should have sent a thank you know, your little hoe. To build a barn, it's giving very much Mojo Dojo Casa House. If you don't like the modern farmhouse look, but that's too bad because we're getting bricked up, we're getting railed by wood, and this is all taking place on the leather casting couch. There's a new piano, prairie glut. What? Prairie grass, a grill, shout out to the horse grills, <laughs> a line dancing floor, a nectar rack that can be stacked infinitely. I got racks, a new country kitchen set, not to be confused with the country kitchen kit, and a bathroom set, although it is missing a toilet. Gun. Also in separate news, the Sims team just announced the new kit. The Sims 4 Country Crapper Kit, yay! Oh my God. Speaking of, there is a shit ton of horse related items, including fences, the stables, jumps, a feeder, racing barrels, and horse balls. balls. We of course have a new world and get ready to drag these nuts across your chest. The world is called Chestnut Ridge. <laughs> and this one is really different to the last few worlds we've had. I mean, it's still America, but it's not suburban. America, land of the free, patriarchy, and horses. My pronouns are USA. It's Old West inspired. To me, it kind of looks like Arizona, although I'm not American. Arizona, her, I hardly know her. One of the district, district. District three is called New Appaloosa, which feels like a horse kicking the teeth to me because Appaloosa Plains is famously the world that came with The Sims 3 pet, which included cats, dogs, lizards, rodents, turtles, birds, snakes, and horses. I would need to buy 87 expansion packs to get that in The Sims 4. <laughs> There's 13 lots, which by the way, were not made by me. They once again did not ask me to do the builds on this pack. There's lots of open space and the town center has some rabbit holes like the shops and the Hey Now equestrian center. So maybe this town is big enough for the two of us. Yeah, yeah. Hey now, hey now. Onto the gameplay. As always, we have Miss Tisha Potatoes and as part of Tisha's recent rehabilitation, she has been sent to Dr. Phil's ranch for troubled tubers. Alongside Miranda Sims and Sims to James Charles, they each get their own luxurious, spacious jail cell to enjoy their stay at the cancelled compound. Meanwhile, rancher Phil gets the big house on the prairie because patriarchy, it's his way or the highway. But life is a highway and Tish is gonna ride it all night long. I assign Tisha the job of stable hand because she is unstable. And Miranda and James are in charge of gardening, grapes, mushing, and goats because they're familiar with grooming kids. As in the goat kind, allegedly. Nectar has finally been added to the game so you can make your own fermented foot grapes. Although you can also make nectar from other foots, foots and vegetables. Sorry, put my foot in my mouth there. Some of the juice will give you different moodlets. There's different varieties for the occult. And some of the wine will resurrect Sims. Call it divine wine intervention. intervention. There's only five skill levels, but you'll most likely need to get the gardening skill alongside anyway. Like me, the wine gets better with age. And like wine, I am also stored in basement. Please help me. Little Simsy won't let me out. This is why my videos are always so late. And once they are aged, you can make racks. Finely aged nectar can sell anywhere from 2,000 simoleons to 40,000 simoleons. Speaking of lucrative financial opportunities, have you considered horse? How could I possibly forget to introduce you to our noble steed? Ladies and gentlemen, Malibu Barbie. There's a few different ways to make money with the horses, like doing community jobs where your sim will go on an epic horse trail. It's just like the movie Spirit, except you don't get to see it. You just get to imagine it. 
You can either make a horse and create a sim, buy a horse, or adopt don't shop. Although adopted horses will usually come with unchangeable shitty traits. Speaking of, these horses stay shitting. They hate shitting. They're leaving broke back mountains of shit everywhere they go. The horses are on those empty. <laughs> and guess who's cleaning that up? You. Poo. Although it's not completely useless, you can use the manure to fertilize your plants. So at least the turd feeds the herd. <laughs> as well as feeding your horse, letting it sleep, you'll also need to groom them. The only thing I've ever groomed is my Malibu Barbie horse. Now that your ride or die isn't literally going to die, we can finally ride it. Let's ride! Once you successfully mount them, which between glitches and bucking fuckaroos is more difficult than it sounds, you can train them in agility, temperament, jumping, and endurance. Although unlike The Sims 3, jumping is just jump. Can't make a horse jumping track, it's just the one. And it does make me want to, you know, jump. As far as horse riding simulator, the horses kind of work like the bikes, although horse riding is a skill in itself. You will suck at riding at first. Can't relate, I neither suck nor ride. You can ride them pretty much anywhere around the world, including the club. A horse walks into a bar. Once you've got some skills, it's off to the beginner races and category is barrel racing. And get excited for nothing. You don't get to see the race. You don't get to participate in the race. There's not even a tiny interactive screen so you can feel like you're somewhat in control of your simulated horse. The Sims 3 had that. And this is an entire pack dedicated to horses. Was the budget given in simoleons? It literally just tells you if you slayed or nade. To slay or not to nade, that is the equestrian. And the results are in, it's gold. With a side of celebratory golden shower. Next to the hey now, hey now, equestrian center. There's also a convenience store where you can buy goats and mini sheep. And you'll also find a few iconic townies walking around like their horse trainer. She doesn't have any law. She just has a horse drawn wagon. <laughs> and the mysterious rancher Roberto Crinkletop. And don't be confused by the name. That man's a bottom. A crumple bottom. He's in the witness protection program. This is Agnes Crumplebottom's missing husband. I don't know what to do. He's blocked me. He'll tell you the town law. You can sell nectar to him at a slightly higher price. Although personally, I would like him to drink my sweet nectar. What was that? You need a bee. The mini goats are all the same price, but the sheep will vary depending on their color. I of course got the pink one. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Tisha it haters. Is. And as for the rest of the pack, a herd? What's a, what's a group of goats and sheep called? A gaggle? gaggle. She gaggling on my goat caller, the throat goat? Yeah. We have sheepy hay, little sheepsy, billy goat eyelash, and goat. Just goat. There is actually no limit to the amount of mini animals you can get because they are technically objects, not to objectify them, but you can scale them up and down, put them in your inventory until they turn into minced meat. And we, we cannot, cannot escape, escape, we cannot come out. Now, if you have cottage living, you may want to cottage unalive after hearing this next piece of news. The sheep and the goats are essentially just mini versions of the cows and llamas that aren't permanently confined to the animal shed prison. I'm not, I'm not joking, joking, bitch. bitch. I'm deadly serious right now. I want my money back. They're also objectively cuter. They hop around, they'll help you garden. The goats will cave and scream into the void. Although I personally believe kids should be seen and not heard. Did. Anyway, back to the whores. The horses may not be able to get sick. They can't go to cats and dogs vets. There is no hospital. But Tisha was certainly sick of being the stable hand. She wanted to ride that pony. And to do that, we needed to give a stable hand to Dr. Phil. A stable hand job. Call it Operation Raunchy Rancher. And step one in our maniacal plan was to give Tisha the Katie from Goat Story makeover. <laughs> This is a potential mother. Step two, offer Dr. Phil another nail. Would you like another nail, sir? <laughs> Step three, become his bride wife. Yes, he is old okay, enough to be her yeah. father, but this is the South. She broke up with her last boyfriend by saying, let's just be cousins. Yeah. And so as a token of his eternal love, he gifted Tisha an aggressive adopted horse that he paid virtually no money for ripped jeans and tisha thanked him by spending all of his remaining funds on mini animals and calling him poor ye poor you're ugly you're disgusting i'm gonna milk this man dry speak of milking introducing our new mini animals danny gozales britney goatsy nicky cardo <laughs> avocado plumbala and mcchamber lamb trixie mutton and milk hayla nigiri kim kardashian 
training. And no matter how much you train and socialize your rescue horse, they may still perform poorly yeah. at competitions. Speaking of poor performance, in order to secure her place on the ranch, Tisha took a ride on Dr. Phil's combine harvester. His combine harvester. Got me feeling like a cowgirl, let me ride it. Devastating news, there is no new woohoo spot. I assumed The Sims 3 hay bale rail would make a return, but all we have is another bush. Although I have a sneaking suspicion they're doing reverse cowgirl in there. And after a stunning bear back, bear crack performance, Rancher Phil proposed. A marriage proposal, if you will. And that country chode took her home. She was finally allowed to live inside the house. Although Miranda and James were clearly jealous of her new privileges. But you know what? Sucks to shock. You suck, you suck, you suck. And with her newfound privileges, Tisha started winning competitions, hired a ranch hand to do her share of the work. Get your fucking ass up and work. And most importantly, touched some grass and also harvested said grass. There is prairie grass scattered around the world that you can find collectibles in and you can also plant it on your home lot if you want to live off that good grass. She also discovered the secret cave called the Dread Horse Caverns. This is like a text-based mini game where you use certain items to defeat enemies and gain rewards. There's infinite levels, so unless you're defeated, it never ends. And even if you're defeated, you can just come back the next day. And I mean, not to beat a dread horse, but they really could have added a new death type here. I personally want to be mauled to death by a giant goose. Who doesn't? Speaking of beating a dead horse, Tisha wanted to beat Dr. Phil at the races, so she killed his horse. With kindness, obviously, she bestowed the gift of a child onto the horse. The horse woohoo is absolutely foul. Sorry, scratch, that meant full. It's very much PG-13. They don't even do any mounting. All of the horses are coming. And the most devious part of this plan, when the horse is pregnant, you can no longer mount her. Meaning Dr. Phil was unable to compete in competitions. And Tisha could get ahead. Oh, well, Dr. Phil gets no head call him the headless horseman after about three days the horse will give birth to my little pony my little pony i named her barbenheimer and it'll have a combination of the parents features and traits including champion genes if one or both of the parents have won championships of which neither of my horses had flop so i decided to throw a ranch animal day to celebrate the new arrival and also hopefully meet fellow ranchers so that i could impregnate all of their horses and then sell the champion ponies for money it's my new charity ponies for profit <laughs> and i mean this specific event is about raising money for the ranch as well as meeting locals drinking nectar doing lines as in the line dancing kind what what did you think i meant who speaks for the chickens for the dogs for the cats for the cows we milk and we milk and we milk and they say oh although i did discover that you can actually get tipsy from nectar if you drink the entire bottle she's gonna be hung like a horse tomorrow as in hung over ew you dis disgusting pervert Although seeing as it was just the local pause attending, we served them the cheap stuff. The good stuff is in the military grade underground bunker. Where else would it be? The next week we had a second foal. A colt was born. Well, we were already in a colt. But it was a boy. <laughs> I named him Megan the Stallion. Oh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and at the ranch day, Tisha discovered that Jeffrey of the Star Yak Ranch had a champion horse named Naki Minaj, so I bred them too. Speaking of breeders, <laughs> after Dr. Phil sold her beloved pony Barbenheimer, <laughs> and she discovered the hoedown throwdown at the hodeo, Tisha realized that she had bigger dreams than just being Dr. Phil's bride wife. She wanted to be a country music pop star. Alabama, Montana. So on the day of her wedding, she stole 400,000 simoleons worth of finely aged nectar, locked James and Miranda in the Prohibition basement, and went to the championship horse race instead of attending her own wedding. She didn't win best angel, but she won best in the way. Now you may be thinking, wouldn't Dr. Phil notice that his bride had cold feet? Wouldn't he realize that he had a runaway bridal? That's where I'm five steps ahead. These hooves were made for plotting. Yes, hello, send in the Trojan Trisha horse. Hi. Luckily, nobody addressed the elephant, well, horse in the room, because this is the South. At least half of their family lines are a circle and the mayor is probably a dog. <laughs> and so the wedding went off without a hitch, at least until Dr. Phil went into the basement to find some celebratory wedding nectar and discovered James and Miranda in the vault. Bring me 
The horse was out of the bag. They eventually managed to track Trisha down. <gasps> Trisha? Who is that? They eventually tracked Tisha down and we went from shotgun wedding to shotgun standoff. But what they failed to realize is that Tisha is the Southern Belle from hell. You're ugly, you're disgusting, I'm gonna kill you. Give me $200. You're a fucking cunt. She just sat my nudes and said I look like a fat pig in it. Fuck me, right? I love bacon. I didn't want to respond to this because I didn't want to give Trisha the attention that she's clearly craving. James, you ain't gonna last. All aboard the toxic monster. To huh? I wish you well. In hell. <laughs> are you with her? My pronouns are USA. And with that, Tisha rode off into the sunset and then rode her horse directly in the bank to take out a mortgage to buy the Hannah Montana Forever Ranch for her new career as a country music pop star. <laughs> Now into the horse meat of the video, the review. I want to take a second to remind you that this is an expansion pack because I myself, a Sims professional, my job, my job is, is just, just Sims, Sims, forgot that this was an expansion pack and not a glorified game pack. <laughs> I think this pack did horses well, but The Sims 3 also did horses well, if not better, and that didn't take an entire pack dedicated to it. The Sims 3 had unicorns, wild horses, you can make jumping courses, lead the horses around, you can lead the Sims team to water, but you can't make them drink. Also, Nobody likes horses and gets bullied for it more than tween girls. So why is there no after school horse riding lessons? I want to join the saddle club. I don't want to. I don't like horses. Fucking hate horses. Also, horses are fucking huge. Most people don't have the land or space to have a horse. We don't, we don't have, have horse, horse at home. At home. <laughs> so I wish there was a way that you could own a horse at like a community stable or I don't know rent a horse. Yes. Also, would it have been that difficult to add riding instructor or ranch hand as a career? I don't want to have to click on a board every time I want to do some work. I want unionized horse jobs. Oh, what? That sounds fucking weird. <laughs> anyway, I have spoken about horses for far too long for someone that claims to hate horses. Ride or die? More like all horses should die. I would say on a scale of yay to nay, it lands somewhere in the middle. I hope you enjoyed this video. The Sims team has already announced the next expansion pack. So I'll see you three months after that pack comes out. <laughs> Or not. Thank you to my Patreons for supporting my channel. You're here a day early. And for everyone else, I ain't got nothing to hate. Can you say bye, horse? Bye, horses. Bye, horse. Oh, thank you. Thank you.